that I'd say joining us again now, almost a regular here on McLean's oh. TV, <laughs> is uh, Eamon Logue here from the, the beautiful surroundings of uh, the Hilton and Temple Patrick. Um, you've been on before, you've given us a few hints, you've given us a few bits. You haven't been very good, actually, Eamon, to tell you the truth. So, what about the sawgrass? Who do you fancy here? Sawgrass, the fifth major, as they yeah. keep talking about. And as we mentioned, a, a really tight, tight golf course um, and one name that I think in the last couple of weeks has started me climb up the leaderboard as regards consistency has been my old man Jim Furyk. So I'm going to touch on Jim this week because Jim has had several top 10s already in the 2014 season but the one thing that he really is, is top of the leaderboard is is sea of scrambling and it's one of those courses where that will be prevalent that the top man whoever finishes with the trophy the lovely Waterford Crystal Trophy on Sunday night will be the man that scrambles best around Sawgrass. So Jim Furyk is my man for this week coming in. No mention of any of our local stars, you mm. know, Graham, you don't think it'll suit him or Rory? I don't think, um, I mean, Rory's obviously, he's shown great form. Uh, the, the, old, the old bad round that has, has been thrown in as one of his, uh, the Achilles heels for Rory. But the swing just looks as, as class as ever. I mean, he's just, the short stick, um, I'm sure he's been doing work on hard on that. There's sometimes there's great signs of it. He just looks like he can't miss it in the next day. He just looks like he can't hold things. But um, Graham, I don't know that he's done enough this year really to show us that he really has any, he's going to threaten anybody at this stage. And, and Big Darren, who um, reportedly is, feels that he's swinging the club as well as ever, is suffering a little bit from the same problem as Rory, where the ball is just, it's afraid of the dark at the minute and it just won't go south when it gets on the green. So. Um, I'm not sure that the, any of the local lads will appear this week, which is not often I say that, but for me this week, I'm, as I say, Jim Furyk is, is going to be my pick. And uh, I suppose the awful thing for the local lads is that everybody, um, every, everybody wants them to win, everybody mm. almost expects them to win, and then young Michael Roy doesn't, doesn't win, and then people go, actually, he, he lost again. Yes. And I don't think they realise the quality that these lads are playing against every single week whenever they go to play in these tournaments. This is it, Adrian, because you know, when you look, you look at the leaderboards, you, know, you don't see the same name popping up all the time. There's just been so many new winners, um, not multiple winners. I mean, the only one I think won, well, Jimmy Walker's won three times 2014. Patrick Reed, the very outspoken Patrick Reed's won twice. Bar that, there's, you, know, you see new names coming through, and it's the same in the European Tour. There's new names popping up every week. So these guys aren't playing it with any fear anymore. They're playing with the confidence of the guys. They deserve to be there. They feel they deserve to be there, which they are, because they've earned the right to play on the, on the PGA or European Tour. So, I mean, when you've got Tiger now out, obviously, for a long time, he's lost that mantle of being the one that, you know, they're looking at what's second prize going to be, what's second place, you know, because obviously Tiger's not there to put that fear in them. So... These guys are all very confident and they're all capable of winning around that golf course. But there's, it's, it's horses for courses. There's a certain amount of them that it, it's just not going to be their week. It'll not be a course that fits their eye. Um, and there's a certain amount that will be. But um, there's just the confidence, the facilities they have. And, and just the guys, the games themselves, the, the amount of people that they're about, the mind coaches, swing coaches, these guys can be lifted to levels. They raise them to levels that they never would have thought they could achieve. And they're, they're, there's people there who are capable of doing that. And it's only a matter of the, the person himself having that self-belief. This week, we, we also interviewed uh, Peter McCarroll from Allen Park and uh, Johnny Foster mm -hmm. of uh, Green Acres, well-known uh, local lads, uh, pros over here as well. And th th they're going more for the English contingent. They're going for the likes of maybe a Jason Day or a Luke Donald. You know, so why would you put Furyk ahead of those two uh, choices? Well, if just look, Luke Donald has, Jack Nicholas touched on that long ago, he said that Luke Donald will struggle to win a major because his driving is, has always pulled him down. He's not, the, he's a, he's got a, the, the flow and the, the rhythm of Luke Donald's swing is something everybody should copy, a little bit of a Fred Couples type swing. But Luke Donald has struggled the last with, with accuracy off the tee. He's not, he's not the, with the changes that he's making, um, and swing changes is obviously not bedded in yet, it's not fully on firing on all cylinders yet. So, Luke Donald, I mean, if you were going, if I was going for anybody from the UK, I would have said Justin Rose, really, because of his present form. Looks like he's swinging the club superbly. Albeit that last week at Quail Hollow, now he did, it, there was a couple of little tweaks in the swing with the last couple of holes that would kind of worry you that if he's in contention, and he just wasn't confident if he's making a few changes at the minute, that it just wasn't completely there. So. It's not the time really, as Christy said, if you don't bring it with you, you won't find it there. Um, so those guys are coming in with f setting their sights for maybe future further on down the line for the US Open, British Open type thing. So, um, but the man that I see, again, we'll go back to, the, 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 he's, he's the guy. So I wouldn't, 
I wouldn't really put any money out in, in, in the UK players, unfortunately, at this tournament.